So obviously this is the cheapest type of accommodation I could find, just as a test. Like, does it make a big difference or it's just like, you know, mildly more enjoyable the whole holiday experience for you if you come to Pattaya. So this dollar is 10, oh, this room is $10 per night. AC very loud, walking distance to the main street, one to two minutes. But it's the fifth floor. Let's take a look at the shower. These are the small things, look at this. Like there's no glass over that. I don't know if you can see it. It's highly So here's another room, $18 per night. Roughly 15 minutes walking distance to Walking Street. It's a room, very spacious as you can see, super spacious that room. Doesn't know, I don't know if you can see that or if you see that on camera, that's that spacious, but really spacious room. A uh, nice desk here for for me specifically if I do something on a laptop. Uh, yeah, and quiet as well. It's directly facing the street, but it's quiet nonetheless. The balcony, the view is not great. It's the first floor, but 
First of all, that little kitchen area is pretty nice. Let me just turn on the light here. A little kitchen area, pretty sweet deal. Fridge, protein shake for. Um, we're gonna go to the gym. Just a minute. This is usually what I drink before. And the bathroom. That separation here is pretty nice. The entrance area. So this is where you can actually, when you're standing here in the kitchen area, um, you can hear the outside noise a little bit more. But once you close this. Boom, it's like super quiet. If I have one vice, then it, this is it, the 7-Eleven food. I don't know if this is super healthy because the, it's not fresh. Uh, this is chicken breast, uh, sunflower, seeds, this is just an egg and rice. And this, man, I, like I eat this two to three times a day. It's not the cheapest, it's not the healthiest because the healthiest would be fresh, uh, but it's so good. Unbelievable. It's a weekday around half past one in the morning. It's pretty quiet. As you can see, there's not really anybody on the streets. The shops are closed. As opposed to on the weekends where you would see more people on the streets still out in the restaurants. Um, yeah, and some, some of the night markets open until 2, 2.30, uh, which are closed now, especially the one opposite on this side. So it's good for walking home without being harassed. But other than that, not much to see. And here is the 24 hour gym, the fitness seven that I mentioned, Pattaya Avenue, which I'm gonna go to now at two in the morning. It's open 24 seven. Place to go to after partying and drinking in late morning. So we're going to check out the Universe Gym, which is a long walk from here to Harbor Mall. About 20 minutes. So 
the street that I'm walking on right now is the one that goes directly down to that way to Beach Road, straight ahead. And that way is to Harbor Mall and to the gym. The Bataya branch of the TRT clinic. I've only been to the one in Bangkok. As you might notice if you walk on uh, you know, in the areas that are not close to beach road or tourist areas, I find it way more enjoyable because the shops are more spaced out, it's more spacious, it's less crowded. And most importantly, it's not massage girls every, every few meters. So it didn't feel like a long walk at all. This is Harbor Mall, across the street. And the next side alley, the next soy is the gym. Soy at the side street is the entrance to the gym. You can see in the far end, you can see it already. The very end where the car is coming is the gym. Interesting area here, super quiet. It looks completely different. See what I mean? for 140 baht this is crossfit This one after workout. So Foodland is another good option for grocery shopping. I prefer Tops Market, but yeah, whichever is nearer to wherever you are. Big C, extra to a large supermarket, maybe somewhere comparable to Walmart. Not as big, but probably as big as it gets uh, in regards to supermarkets in Thailand. As you can see by the signage, the restaurants 
these, this area here is clearly for Japanese, Korean uh, tourists in Pattaya. Here, if you look at the sign, it's Chinese. My buddy's walking back to the hotel, walking back to Petro to negotiate a group deal. I'm just kidding. So now I'm gonna eat the post workout meal, the meal after the workout at Food Park, which is a food court at Central Festival here. A little market here, um, different vendors and food every every night, pretty much outside. I'm gonna go to the food court to get chicken and rice for 50 baht. This is a grilled crocodile. So this is the chicken and rice portion that you get at food park, which is the food court at Central Festival here in Pattaya. Um, 55 baht, which includes five bahts for the takeaway. Chicken and rice, and this is the soup. Obviously, now very obviously, this is a tourist area. If you go to a food court outside of the tourist area, you will probably get twice as much here. I remember in Bangkok, where I stayed, the food court will probably get twice as much chicken um, for the same price. So in that regard, it's not the best deal, but it's still good price value, I think. It's like $1.50.